this is world's worst talking head setup. The studio light is behind the subject, but it's only because the subject is about to take self-portraits and uh, the subject wanted to film her intro and outro first. I'm so sorry about this light. I'm so sorry about this setting. <laughs> What is up guys? It's Sophie. This was supposed to be my first video of the year. It was actually a backup video. I did have a actual first video plan. It was like a get ready with me while I talk about like the new year and my channel. After hours of tirelessly editing, my footage corrupts. 2020 Sophie would have had a legitimate anxiety attack, but something I told myself that I would work on at the end of December was not equating my self-worth to how much work I get done. And what better way to practice that than when your first video of the year gets ruined and you have to film another one. So 2021 Sophie exited out of Final Cut Pro, got some halal food, and watched New Girl for the rest of the night. So today for this video, I decided instead that I'm gonna turn myself into the main character. And I thought I'd film that because why not towards the end of 2020 i made a video on a year recap but from a global perspective rather than a personal one so kind of like experiences that we all went through together but we also had our own individualized personal experiences so my 2020 personally was completely different from what you went through personally we were all going through the same shit but we still had our own personal shit my 2020 personally included a lot of change anger and kind of like like the overall process of learning how to fall in love with myself physically and emotionally and mentally and something that personally resonated with me was kind of this concept of making yourself the main character and the way that I kind of went about looking at it was I am the main character as long as I fucking say I am. You are the main character as long as you say that you are and as long as you believe that you are. Bro, like once I realized that just genuinely being in love with myself and taking care of myself and my body and my mind hurts no one, my perspective on my worth and myself did a full 180. Like a full cartwheel twist jump so uh, this year I am the main character I'm literally just gonna bring you guys through the past week of my life and starting my year and just like setting the tone for my new year hopefully this inspires you to do the same if it does comment down below one way that you are gonna work on yourself this new year and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm working on myself this new year throughout this video so let's get started Would it really be a morning routine if there's no breakfast montage? I don't even think such a morning routine exists. I would say the biggest thing that I had to get serious about in 2021 next to my mental health were definitely my spending habits. So towards the end of 2020, I kind of just stopped using my kitchen entirely. After seeing how much I had spent on DoorDash alone from October to the end of the year, it was pretty clear that I was definitely gonna have to find a new way to buy food. I am in no way a chef, nor do I have the time to make intricate meals for myself every single day. So real quick, I'm gonna walk you guys through how I prep my meals every single week so that I can easily grocery shop for easy meals that are extremely easy to make. So I took it upon myself to find an app that would basically just do all of the work for me. No, this is not sponsored. I literally found this app like hours before filming the clip for this video. So the app that I use is called Meal Lime and this clip is actually me making my real meal plan for this week. They basically have hundreds of recipes that you can choose from and add to your cart. This is me just like bringing in a recipe that I found from online. You can do that too. And when you save it into your meal plan, Meal Lime will make a grocery list for you with every single ingredient that you need from your meal plan so this app is perfect for people like me who find grocery shopping really stressful or who never know what to cook I'm both of those people <music> I'm back with my eggs that I literally scarfed down seconds after making them. Um, I don't even know why I brought the bowl in to film this. Like there's 
there is absolutely nothing in here so my university starts its spring semester this monday if you've been on my channel for the past few videos then you know that that has no effect on me because i'm taking a gap semester but it does mean that i have to finally get my shit together no i really do have to get my shit together for real because i can no longer use my classes as an excuse for slacking off in other areas of my life so that being said i did come to philly on sunday i just wanted to be here like a week early before everybody started coming back to campus it just kind of made me feel like i was getting a head start i guess school has always kind of been a way that i've mapped productivity so like where i am in the semester but now that i don't actually have a real semester it's all on my own time this is going to be the longest that i've been out of school since i started school in kindergarten i've never been out of school for this long and i have to be able to utilize my time because now i'm going to be working full time as a photographer youtuber and model and i kind of have to prep for how that's gonna look like on an everyday basis a job as a freelancer is so fucking hectic that you have to plan out your life day by day last minute bookings will randomly come up or last minute bookings will randomly cancel i also recently just got my first photography studio that i need to learn how to make a fucking profit off of so what exactly does that look like just a ton of research from home last night i watched two hours worth of content on the different ways to light a studio set there's just so many things about being a studio photographer that I need to learn so many things about running a business that I need to learn so many videos to plan out just a lot of work but I'm excited that I actually have the opportunity to bring you guys along and show you what it is that I do whatever else you want to see I'll actually finally have the time to do Ooh, I'm kind of fucking with this bubble gum so there were a lot of things that I Oh, I, that's a two. I thought I was filming for seven minutes. I was like, I know I talk a lot, but not that much, bitch. So there were a lot of things today that did not get done that I was supposed to do. I was in the middle of grocery shopping and my period, second day, stopped me dead in my tracks and I had to like squat in the middle of the vegetable aisle like while people were trying to get produce around me and like wait for the cramp. Like I, it felt like a contraction. People were just like trying to grab asparagus and shit and I was like in squatting position like waiting for my cramp to subside so I literally had to leave my cart and just go home like I it was too it was too much it was too much so full disclosure I have a heated water bottle in my pants I don't know if you guys can see it but I did put it in there before I started filming because I'm in immense pain right now so if I seem like pretty low energy that's why and I've just allowed myself to lay in bed for the rest of the day which i think is actually a pretty good segue into what i want to talk about next which is self-care but that's something that i did not give myself enough of in 2020 and i told myself that i would but i don't know what the fuck happened and while i talk about it i'm gonna put on this ordinary face mask on skin that is clean but oily to be honest i kind of despise the term self-care i feel as if the term is so overused that the actual care is like watered down i feel like the self-care aesthetic that's so widely spread focuses more on making yourself feel productive rather than actually the intricacies of working on yourself and becoming a better person i feel like we rarely talk about the self-care that's below just laying in bed and putting on a face mask even though that's literally what i'm doing right now it's taken me so long See, this is how much I use this mask. It's almost out. Okay. I feel like I spent the majority of 2020 just thinking about myself. Obviously, because we all had so much more downtime in quarantine, I had a lot more time to think about myself, thinking about the way I look, thinking about how I feel, thinking about parts of myself that I want to change. And after a substantial amount of time, I definitely realized that my perspective on myself needs to change there were quite a few points in 2020 where i had the most ugly perception of myself and just anything that i did it's definitely something that i'm still working on now things like that just don't disappear just because it's a brand new year but i think the fact that i was able to recognize that i had such an ugly perception of myself was a good thing because now that means that i can work on it not me choosing a face mask that's like literally almost done i think a big part of what got me out of that rut was definitely journaling discovering manifestation and just like becoming fucking best friends with myself and spending time alone and getting to know myself and just being like bitch 
you're so fucking cool to be around not enough people are friends with themselves bro get to know yourself what brings you peace what brings you happiness i don't know and just like indulge in that more that's when you actually feel like the main character because you're just like obsessed with yourself like you're just in love with yourself people who haven't learned to do that yet will hear that and be like oh like that's conceited or that's cocky no love that's just being your own best friend there's absolutely nothing wrong with that like when you're genuinely fulfilled and like in awe of your own company that's hot and it's definitely something that I want to do more this year. So that being said, I'm going to make myself some dinner. Try to edit more of this video that you're... Ooh, no, because I need to be able to see. This is ridiculous. I put it on white, but it's LED, so it looks like blue. Hopefully get some more work done on this video that you're watching right now. And allow myself to do nothing the rest of the night. Because... I'm on my period and I'm in pain and that's self-care. Would you describe this as a sexual act? I would describe that as the Pledge of Allegiance, which can be sexual. Why? Today is the last day of the week. It is Friday, January 20. second it's the last day of the week and the last day of this video to top off this video of turning myself into the main character i decided to literally go ahead and do that i made an appointment to get my hair done and i bought hair made an entire photo shoot concept around myself and then i'm gonna go get my nails done after i get my hair done so to get ready for all of that i've decided to sit down and do my makeup and while i was making this photo shoot concept i was thinking about how like something that i've never really showed in the five years that i've been on youtube is a real behind the scenes look into what I actually do like a true inside look into my creative process whether it be for YouTube or photography the first thing that I'm using is this um, primer from Revlon I have no idea what the fuck primer does and I think I put way too much on my hands just now I feel like I've gotten significantly better at makeup but I'm not a makeup artist so please don't come for me if you are a makeup artist and I'm doing something wrong but yeah I've never really shown you guys a look into my creative process on YouTube and to be completely honest I think it's because I've never truly had one since I've always been a full-time student YouTube and photography were always just side hobbies and I guess I've never really taken them seriously enough to map out a process it was just like okay what do you guys want to see me film and then I film it that same week or I would kind of just think of a random photography concept and I wasn't truly intentional with any of the creative work that I was doing but I think now now since I'm gonna be out of classes for so long and these are my literal full-time jobs now I definitely have to be a lot more intentional about my workflow I'm kind of thinking of it as like a new creative beginning I guess you could call it which basically is just an organized process of working to ensure that I'm always creating something in other words to make sure that I am consistently making money I'm also not using foundation for this routine I'm just using a shit ton of beauty supply store products but I am just gonna be doing like an all concealer routine i finally learned how to do that without making it look really unbalanced and weird so that's what i'm gonna do i haven't spoken the entire time that i was doing this because i really had to make sure that i was focused so normally i just take this concealer that is light enough to highlight my face but not light enough to make my face look ashy with no base of foundation concealer just feels a lot lighter on my face and i thought while i do my makeup i can talk about what the fuck i do like literally what i do other than and study science. So for YouTube, I draft outlines for my videos. I started doing this actually over quarantine when I was really heavily doing like the commentary videos and like those long sit down talking videos. It helps me organize all my thoughts if I literally write out what it is that I'm saying. I wouldn't say that I script them, but I do outline them and I can add whatever I want as I'm filming. The video that you're watching right now, I outlined, I wrote out like a kind of script that I'm it's like right here <laughs> like I guess you can call it scripting it even though it's like it's still me speaking but I just have my thoughts laid out I also started even writing out the different shots that I want and making shot lists for videos that have b-roll like this one so I'll write out the different b-roll that I want to get just so that the filming process becomes a lot easier so that when I sit down to edit I know that I have everything together I would say about 80% of the entire process is literally just editing I'm also just gonna oh, not my contour thing squirting. Not it's 
wording again. I low key don't want to use liquid. I'm gonna use this matte powder foundation. Yeah, so the majority of the YouTube process is really just me editing. So unless you're like into post production and like editing and stuff, you probably won't find that interesting. But if you actually would like to see a how I edit my videos, please let me know. I'm still to this day consistently learning new things about editing that I will search up on YouTube myself, how to do specific things in Final Cut, because that's the editing software that I use. That's really as much as I can think to say about YouTube because most of the process is just editing and that takes hours and hours and hours and hours. I don't know why old Sophie used to think that she could knock out a video, film, edit, and upload in one day. I've done it multiple times before, but it's just so stressful because editing takes forever. For photography, if I'm not shooting or editing, I'm planning a shoot. This year, because I have a studio and I don't have unlimited time, like I have a certain number of studio hours a month, I have to be a lot more intentional about my shoots and just like what I do in studio. And I've been learning so much about different lighting techniques and set design and it's just been really cool learning about all of it. And I officially get the keys to my studio on February 1st, but up until this point, it's really just been me planning a bunch of different concepts. Like right now, I'm currently orchestrating this Valentine's Day shoot. It's actually gonna be the first thing that I shoot in studio. And a lot honestly goes into planning a shoot where multiple creatives are working on set. Making sure the models, MUA, hairstylists, everybody that's gonna be there can all work on the same day. Making sure COVID tests are being properly administered at the right time has definitely made scheduling a lot harder, but it's a priority and a necessity. I would say the most fun that I actually have is the shoot itself, but something that I've made a priority for myself this year is reaching out to more creatives and working with more creatives like makeup artists, hairstylists, even set designers, wardrobe stylists. So my battery died, but I'm honestly not even mad at it. I redid my eyebrows like 10 more times and nobody needed to see that. I finished the rest of my concealer. I'm really about to truly feel like the main character after today, like for real. I low key want to put on freckles. I kind of do. I high key do actually. Oh, well, these are so dark. I could pat them dry though. I'm just putting random dots. They look a lot darker in the mirror than they do on camera. I completely forgot what I was even talking about before my camera died. Oh yeah, and how scheduling is hard. See, this is why I have the outline. I have no idea how these are gonna look on camera at all, but the last thing that I'm gonna do is eyelashes. I'm not gonna put anything on my lips because I am leaving. I think I'm gonna do that right before I shoot. We're gonna do eyelashes last. I just got a new pair actually today. I love trying on a pair of brand new lashes. <gasps> I know that I did not just do that. I just ripped off a good chunk of hair from this lash, y'all. Like, they just have them on there so tight. They're so hard to take off. And my battery's about to die, bitch. Let me just snap my fingers and have this shit on. <laughs> Yeah, I just had to do that off camera real quick and the makeup look is basically done. I still don't know how they look on camera because it's so bright in here, but I think it looks pretty cute. In the next clip, you're gonna see my new hair and I'll probably just end the video there. And my battery's dying a fucking again. A fucking again. <laughs> fucking mess bro i'm so sorry what is up guys it is quite a few days actually after the last clip that you just watched i didn't want to take any pictures with this hair or finish the video until i had everything that i needed for the shoot that i'm about to do and now i do so we're gonna do it i ended up going with this silver gray color that i really really fuck with and then i got my nails done i basically just took you over the course of a week in getting my shit together or or at at least beginning to get my shit to Okay, all right. I certainly do feel like the main character right now and I felt like the main character since I've... So that being said, I am going to go. Don't forget that I am giving away a pair of AirPod Pros next week, I think. I said two weeks, so I will be announcing the giveaway winner next week, probably at the end of the week, like Friday or Saturday, but you have another week to enter. I love you all very much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.